you had to tell another little boy about the home, what would you tell another little boy about the home? It's a good place for boys to go and to um get to be good and they know how to um get things straight. What do you want to be when, when you grow up? And singer, because me and this girl, we sung a solo, and she sung another part at the meet. And then that's when everything starts getting bright. When I grow up, I want to play basketball and be a biology teacher. You know, I made my mind up. I'm going to college. You know, I'm going to get an education. I'm going to be somebody. I want to be a civil engineer. I want to go to a school. I want to graduate with a civil engineering degree. A judge. Going to law school, uh, going to be a judge. I want to go to uh, UCLA. Yeah. I just always want to go there. Hopefully, that's another one of my goals. Be a police officer. Gradu uh, graduate from high school and you know, go into the police academy. I think a lot about sports, very athletic, and I know that's every little kid's dream. So if I can't make it there, I always have that backup, and uh, I'd like to go into real estate or be a lawyer. Well, I mean, my first goal right now is to get an education. My next goal is, is to get a good job. You know, maybe someday put back to the people that, that, that have done for me. I'm extremely proud to be from the home. There's no question about it. Uh, really it gave me some significant strengths and uh, uh, it's still my home it's still my family there's a phobia about institutions that uh, institutions are places where people don't care and that's not the home people sincerely care there and i know that because uh having lived there i, I can read it in the environment and the the way that the people that work at the home anticipate kids needs try to secure those needs and make them feel like a family it's not an institution it's a home basically we take kids wherever they're coming from in their point in time in life and I, I tell boys uh, I think we're in the opportunities business that's that's the Virginia Homer boys is the opportunities business we throw a wealth of opportunities to kids and it's up to them and hopefully we're going to do everything they can to, to encourage and entice them to take advantage of them This is a place that has taken in kids and young men and are turning them into something that we all want. And that's to have a meaningful purpose of going forward with our lives. I can remember the first night at the home. I was laying, I was laying awake in bed, and, and I was just a kid. And one of the other boys says, lonely, aren't you? I mean, he knew how I felt. I mean, I was lonely. And he says, we all were. But don't forget I'm your brother. Basically, in 1846, uh, around the Christmas season, there was, there was a place called the Female Humane Society here in Richmond. Knock on the door right around the Christmas season. The little boy was there begging for pennies. And the headmistress opened the door, and there was a little kid there. She was very taken by the child and wanted to know, you know, uh, what he was doing. She and her husband took you know, the boy into their home, and she, I guess, shortly thereafter, realized, hey, I wonder if there's a place in need for boys. And so there was, uh, after the Christmas season in, in uh, early February, uh, they had a meeting at Secretar Presbyterian Church here in Richmond and uh, decided, yes, there was a need, and the Richmond Male Orphan Society started in August of 1846. Since that time, uh, basically, the place has moved uh, four times and changed his name three times, and now we're the Virginia Humber Boys, but it, we've had kids serve in the Civil War. Boys Home Registry. Matthew Tolan Hooper, killed at his gun in the Battle of the Wilderness in Confederate Army. John Tappan, Frank Tappan, twin, 
on board Confederate steamer Jamestown. Charles Henry Vaughn, killed at the Battle of Rich Mountain, one of the Richmond sharpshooters. I mean, the home sent a lot of kids into war because the home has been here a lot of a long time. And they sent the kids into the First World War. They sent kids into the Second World War. They sent them to Korea. They sent them to Vietnam. A lot of them didn't come back. So it's the structure of the home, uh, even from then and even to now, you are taught that there's a loving relationship. You might not understand it as, as such, but you understand later on that there was this loving relationship, that the people did what they were doing, not for a paycheck, but there's a certain thing that you can't find. That's the thing, the fact that they were doing something that they loved to do. The home is to help you, to bring you from a place that uh, might not have been the right setting for you. It's not going to be, you know, all smooth sailing. It's just teach you how to uh, work on your goals and how to prepare yourself for the real life. And so home is really an eye opener for everybody. I was going nowhere. I, would, I mean, I thought I was thinking my dream was to go to college and, you know, but I thought, nah, my parents will never pay for me to go to college. I didn't get along with them at all. So much problems in school and a little trouble with the law too. Um, but now that I'm here, I know I'm going to college. I'm going to be somebody, be successful one day. I grew up in the ghettos of Portsmouth, and that was the environment that I knew. It was a very rough environment, a uh, very depressed environment. You had to struggle to get everything, and very little was ever expected of you. Even when you did well academically, to come in here and having high expectations put on you, it makes you feel a little better when you do achieve, because then you know that people expect you to. And you know, there's the dark side there. You know, you get you know certain pressures, but it's a welcome pressure to have someone constantly wanting you to, to move ahead and to do well. One main thing that they do for people here, and that's follow through. I mean, it's one thing to to care for a child while he's here and to you know clothes and house and this that and the other, but you know to do for a, a kid like they do for me and for lots of other guys, and that's help them through college, and it's all a part of, you know, not letting go. You know, it's not like once I graduated, see ya. Well, that's where the home is built. The home treats it all. The reason the home works is because they treat the symptom. They pull the thorn, they find out what put the thorn there and treat it, and then they stand there to defend you against getting it happening again, or both of you are gonna get stung. I don't know, it's kind of hard. P people coming to the boys' home, you know, thinking we're the bars that, you know, they come here and they find out, you know, look, this is, this is a free place, you know, you come and go as you want. It's, uh, you just had to bring the people here, I think, because, um, you know, you hear boys' home, or you hear that, you know, you think, well, these guys aren't, you know, from the, the best background. But then once you get them here, you know, they see, they see what, what you see, the, uh, the camaraderie between the guys, you know, it's, there's nothing like it, and uh, you really can't explain it to somebody. They just had to come here and see it and feel, and feel what we feel, you know, between each other, and and they'll understand. <laughs>